So the Guyanese critic is coming to you from the Chetty Jagan International Airport where ministers of government will be welcoming passengers this morning. At least we have two ministers of government on the ground getting ready to welcome uh, passengers. And this is the docking area and an American airline has just landed and is docking at the docking area number two. I am in docking area number three. And just to give you a kind of a, a preview or a little look at the docking area. This is what the docking area looks like. Well, I'm alone here and I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be um, where all the invitees are and seeing the passengers. But just to give you an outside look uh, as to how this looks and what the docking area is like. So, this jet just landed moments ago and you guys uh, keep on the live, share the live. And what you're looking at today on the Guyanese Critic Live, by the way, I'm coming to you, for those of you who've just tuned in, from the Chetty Jagan International Airport. Uh, as you see it there, Chetty Jagan International Airport. And at least two ministers of government, this is how the, the docking area rolls up to the plane. And at least two ministers of government are on the ground to welcome arriving passengers. Uh, I was told some 120 something passengers are gonna be on this flight alone. There's another flight uh, coming in just after. But this is what Cherry Jagan International Airport looks like presently. This is the operation here. You see they got a high tech operation. Um, as it relates to how they, they um, how you get after the plane. And as soon as you come after the plane, this is what you're gonna be looking at. Safe, secure environment. And I'm feeling a, a, a slight, compared to the temperature outside, there's a slight temperature in here. So this has to be AC too. So this is what you're gonna be looking at. And let's go across and see the arriving passengers. Oh yes, you got an AC unit just above so as soon as you come out of the plane into the cherry jagan modern and still work in progress airport um, this is the area that the passengers will be coming through but i'm gonna go and show you the ministers of government and operation welcoming uh, passengers for the 55th Independence Anniversary, Guyana. It's 55 years since we are an independent nation. And so it seems that the ministers are gonna be meeting passengers as soon as they come out. So the Chetty Jagan International Airport is sporting a modern sophisticated facility and again the construction prog uh, process is still uh, going on for a number of other uh, parts to this And passengers have started to, and everybody coming out with the flag. So, so very interesting, very patriotic. <laughs> All right. All right. So everybody seems happy to be home.
They got mom and kids. All right. All right. So see if you know anybody here. And some of this. All right, so everybody seems to be happy. And imagine the surprise, you're just out of the plane and to be greeted by ministers of government. So as fast as passengers are coming off, all right. Uh, everything is everything. Yeah, mom. All right, but cool. So as fast as the last passenger has come off, you have crews heading on to um, to start working on the plane and down at the end of the walkway let me go in to get the last interactions of the minister and you got some crew coming off here and everybody is given a flag Minister of Infrastructure and the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce. And this is all to commemorate the 55th Independence Anniversary. <laughs> so if you all want a little Guyana map like this, you gotta fly out the country or flying back and you get your Guyana map. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Plus cap, cap map everything. So with the amount of things that the ministers are doing, you might likely see magic tricks very soon. So you got help. So 
minister Ethel is obviously going to say something and beautiful modern uh, landing area and there's one two three four and I think recently the government has negotiated for the Chinese to add on maybe one or a few but that is in the making this is what you guys could expect to see when you're arriving at the Chetty Jagan International Airport and the minister is obviously going to be saying something Okay, please. Okay. Welcome and happy new friends. And there's a nice friend here. Happy new friends. There's a beautiful Welcome pin that the Minister Welcome of home. Business is giving. Welcome home. Welcome, happy independence. Welcome, happy independence. You the last one on the plane? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be last. So. Uncle, welcome home. Happy independence. Enjoy it, right? And make sure you wave this one and celebrate the animal. Happy independence. Now let us love. Let's love. You got to keep some nice things in happy independence. If you come and go into the Lord and you like it, you can <laughs> 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 So for those of you who have just tuned into the Guyanese Critic live, I'm coming to you from the Chadi Jagan International Airport where ministers of uh, government are welcoming Guyanese, uh, mostly Guyanese passengers who just landed moments ago at the Chadi Jagan International Airport. We have the Minister of Public Works and the Minister of uh, Tourism, Industry and Commerce. Three months? Who are here. Enjoy yourself. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy Independence. And people are very, very happy to see and be welcomed. Happy Independence. I do it good. So this is the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce in of Guyana and we, our Ministers of Government, are celebrating our 55th Independence Day with arriving passengers at the Chetty Jagan International Airport. Mm -hmm. So again, just as the... And that was just about the welcoming of And just to give you guys a recap of what is uh, happening here today, uh, we are looking later on this evening, we will be looking at our 55th um, uh, anniversary. And oh, the minister is welcoming the captains of the plane to Guyana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, 
to it. Thank you. I'm here every week. <laughs> Master, he did here every week. See, don't calculate. If you did here every week, forgive me something. I did here every week. <laughs> you know, you think Guyanese is a lord? Does that for the game? No, man. Even the white people, they're for the game. So, this is what. Just to give you, you know, you guys get the close up uh, of what's going on on the ground with the Guyanese critic. Only the Guyanese critic offers this kind of live, direct service. So this is the plane. Uh, you got crew on the ground, um, organizing, unpacking luggage. Uh, and this is the beautiful new uh, walkway that you have to enter into the airport. And for those of you who have just tuned in, to the Guyanese Critic Live. I'm coming to you from the Chetty Dragon International Airport where an American airline has just landed and passengers have come off to a welcome by ministers of government for the 55th independence anniversary. Um, there's actually another flight that will be coming uh, that will see those passengers to be in welcome and the Guyanese critic is going to come back to you live and obviously uh, we know Minister Edgel also being uh, a minister in the faith likes to have uh, speeches and give speeches um, similar to those he would have like ceremonies so you have to expect Minister Edgel to say something you can't come to an event and meet Minister Edgel um, there and he does come and doesn't have the opportunity to um, be able to say something so just to give you guys an idea uh, this is Cherry Jagan International Airport this is the docking area the modern docking area that we have so when you guys come here you know what to expect uh, a see clean environment and let's go we got more people got we got more people got things to collect because they got some people coming out there and they might have been left at the back so let's go on here and see what is the process here when you come off the plane obviously the first thing is checking to ensure that you have your COVID-19 documents so let's go through as best as we can Thanks. Uh, so you got four stations uh, taking care of passengers. And these people look like medical professionals. Uh -huh. And then you come out here. And all right. And then you come down to this area. Well, they got escalator, man. We use fan seating and stuff. And again. You got a minister awaiting you with goodies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I forget to walk with me bag and me pants tight so I can't even push a couple of things in me pocket. So you got immigration officers waiting here. And you got some, you got VIP and crew, you got citizens, uh, residents, CARICOM nationals, citizen residents, CARICOM nationals, that is one and two is um, VIP and crew, 
two and three is citizens and CARICOM nationals. Uh, five and six is CARICOM residents and um, citizens and residents, CARICOM nationals and visitors, non-residents, uh, seven and eight and nine and ten. And you got persons on the ground here with hazmat suits. Uh, this obviously is some form of a tester. This is Eureka Labs uh, ISO certified testing setup. So I think this here also is the COVID test. And immigration is already waiting just to look at your documents and have you moving fast, quickly. So when they look at your documents, they decide what is your status and lead you right away to the right area. And you're coming into nice steel pan music. So just for an update, the Guyanese critic is coming to you from the Cherry Jagan International Airport where ministers of government are welcoming passengers uh, with Guyana flags, got caps uh, with Guyana flag colors on them, uh, nice tokens like Guyana maps and This is to commemorate our 55th independence anniversary. Uh, early individual would have seen the plane dock and people come in. And um, now you have immigration officers here, young women that are very proud to know that, you know, these young ladies look like they're in the 20s. Very, very proud um, that we have immigration officers this young, we know the youngsters getting jobs and they're going out. It's obviously be, they're obviously being supervisor, supervised by older uh, folks, but um, the ministers here and they're shaking, sharing tokens uh, to arrive. Persons who just arrived, you got flags, you got. Uh, uh, maps of Guyana with the flag on it. You got caps with Guyana flag on it and the word Guyana on it. Uh, you got some kind of jersey here. This is a Caribbean airline. What does it say? What does it say? You got masks you could get. You got flags. And you got some confectionaries, nuts and these kind. Local stuff. All local stuff. And you got beautiful steel pan music people are arriving to. <laughs> so as you know, you could only experience this on the Guyanese critics. So you're getting a little dance from the minister. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and the occasional photo up. So you guys please enjoy our steel pan and for those of you who don't know let's get a close up as
just to give you guys an update of what's uh, going on here. The Guyanese critic is coming to you from the Chetty Jagan International Airport uh, where an American airline just landed with passengers, mostly Guyanese. Uh, all I've seen that is foreign is the crew. And I have been admiring the new airport docking area and the, the facility here very very uh, interesting it seems that the minister is ready to give a statement of some sort so I live all the time. I live, live every time. Yeah. I said I'm Haitians holding here. It's factually incorrect. I'm on the other side. Okay. All right. No problem. I'm at the airport. There is no Haitian there. All right. So the minister has just informed me that the newscast has said that there's 17 Haitians being held at the airport, and I didn't know if the airport got a basement. So we're trying to figure out this where these where these Haitians are being detained and you guys see the, the last air, uh, airplane that has landed um, um, <laughs> the minister used a term factually incorrect <laughs> so the other guy got the, the wrong facts the minister got the right facts so you're gonna get an update from the minister himself as it relates to this issue um, and let me see do we enjoy the music in the meantime? <laughs> I like this, I like this. This brings tears to my eyes guys. This is real talent and I'm just proud of these guys. Beautiful. Y'all know this music? You know these beats? unfortunate that um, on our 55th anniversary where ministers have come to greet passengers and create a, a nice and inviting atmosphere 
pandemic. Well, I'm extremely happy that number one, Guyana is open for business. Guyana's arms are open wide to welcome Guyanese and citizens from other nations who have come to visit with us, whether it's just to celebrate our 55th independence, whether it's to do business, whether it's to visit family and friends, or whether it is just for a time of relaxation. Um, so I'm happy to be here today to say welcome to some of those. Uh, you know, we're in a global pandemic, and we don't take it for granted. And the fact that we could be able to say welcome to people today at our airports, which have remained open, it's not just happenstance. It's as a result of hard work, proper policy direction, and proper planning. The Tamir International Airport has been accredited, recognized for its work and the protocols and all that have been put in place as it relates to COVID-19. We have received that kind of accreditation and certification. And we have remained open. A policy direction that was given by the government is that we have uh, vaccines in Guyana for every Guyanese 18 years and older to be able to be inoculated. We continue to appeal to all Guyanese to go out and get vaccinated. But what is quite disheartening is that while I'm at the Tumiri Airport, in good spirits on this Independence Day, welcoming Guyanese who are all in cheerful spirits, we have a section of the media that is spreading misinformation and is spreading false information. For the benefit of all Guyanese listening, there are no Haitians 1 or 17 that is being held at the Tamiri International Airport. I have confirmed that there is no room anywhere in these facilities that have held or detained 17 Haitians. And I want to make that very clear to the Guyanese public. Once people are properly landed in Guyana, they are processed and they can go. We have the COVID-19 protocols, which means that once you get a PCR negative within 72 hours on arrival, you can go straight through to immigration and all the way through to customs. If your PCR negative is older than 72 hours, there's a testing facility that you will have to pay, get tested, and then you will be able to proceed based upon the Ministry of Health protocol. Guyana is open for business, and we're observing all of the COVID-19 protocols. We are adhering to all of the international best practices, the airport is outfitted with the kinds of things that are needed to ensure that passengers are safe, the staff is safe. And we want to just say to everybody, happy independence. And if there is anything that we want to see in Guyana as a government, is our people being united, our people coming together. And while we may not be able to take to the streets or to have huge parties and um, social gatherings and so on. Let's send out the positive messages. Guyana is on the rise. Guyana is going places. Guyana is modernizing. Guyana will not remain a poor country. We are working in partnership with our citizens to implement a transformational development plan. We are engaging the international community. We are engaging other stakeholders to work with us to ensure that Guyana becomes a leading light. I, I, I probably would be making this premature, but later in the day, I'll be issuing a statement. Guyana has been ranked quite recently, as yesterday, number one in this hemisphere, aviation safety. Number one, and later in the day, I'll be putting out an official statement on that. These things don't just happen. It's, it comes as a result of adequate policy direction, hard work, proper management. And 
That's where all Guyanese should congratulate the visionary leadership of President Mohamed Irfan Ali and the policy direction that he's been given, even in a COVID-19 environment. And that must be applauded. Thanks, Minister. So you would have heard from Minister Edgel um, an update on two things. What they have been doing here, his satisfaction with the work at the Church Jagan International Airport, the operation of the Church Jagan International Airport, the welcoming of um, Guyanese. But the minister also spoke about some misinformation in sections of the media, specifically one media house that suggested somewhere in a room 17 Haitians are being held. And I myself just spoke to uh, the, uh, the immigration officer in charge on the ground here. And I asked not whether Haitians were in a room, I asked whether any Haitians were held today because it could be a little deviation from the truth and not total untrue. But the immigration officer has reassured me or assured me that there has not been any Haitians um, being held this morning or even passing through this airport today. And that is the information that I have. And unfortunately, as this story breaks, um, let me get a header for you. This, the, the header says, Breaking uh, Guyana bans Haitian nationals from entering until further notice. And um, Guyana has placed an immediate ban on Haitian nationals coming to this country. The ban takes effect immediately and was communicated to Commissioner of Police Nigel Happy by Minister of Home Affairs. And it says Haitian as well as Guyanese. And it, said, it goes on to... It goes on to speak about... Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Is this magic? This story has been adjusted? This what kind of thing is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. So the story has been adjusted on the newscast. Um, that was fast. So, Minister of Commerce, uh, Tourism, Commerce and Business. So you would have heard from the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce about 
Guyanese being very much happy uh, to arrive and you, you saw people waving and and we got the steel pan, I asked them by to play one more song for y'all. Just uh, as I was about to read uh, what was on a newscast that 17 patients were being held in a room at this airport, um, it turned out that it's totally untrue and the story was quickly adjusted. So, um, So again this is i think this when we came in here was the transit room so when you come in you just come through you check and then you head out back the last time we were here i think this is transit room right so you don't have to go through the whole process you you check and you come and chill out a little bit and then back out again so you gotta wait in the area and ministers greeting citizens Hey, what's going on, brother? Everything cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean to sit down in front of them, man? Talk to you, oh, you don't talk to you. Oh, all right, yeah. I'll talk to you and see. <laughs> So again, for those of you who have just tuned in, um, the Guyanese critic is coming to you from the Cherijagan International Airport, and I know where they are. This looks like the palace of the kings and the queens. So, um, this is a nice. This is the VIP lounge. This is. The executive lounge. This is not the VIP. This is the lounge that falls under the airport and the ministry. Okay, okay. So. All right. Some so some details on what has been happening at the Cherry Jagan International Airport since the reopening of the airport in October, which we all would agree was a very bold step. Some of us were criticized and I'm sure by now most people would conclude if we made the right decision. We've had between October and December last year 24,000 passengers arrived. For 2021 which is from January to a current date, not necessarily today's date because we didn't put in today's figures. We've received through the year, through this year for 51,000 passengers. So the total arrival since the reopening is about 75,000. That's over 75,000 passengers. We have process in coming and outgoing a total of 147,000 passengers. So we're not up to peak, but we are doing very well. And you would know that in the 2020 emergency budget, which I read, we did go to the parliament for supplementary, uh, I should say, for monies to supplement the finances of Chetty Jagan International Airport because they were running with losses. Um, the latest report that I have is that we are at a stage where we are managing our own. 
you might want to call it in the layman's language, break even. We haven't gone to the surpluses yet, but we're managing our own with this kind of uh, traffic. Uh, we're doing here at this airport about 30 scheduled flights per week. So we've been quite busy. Uh, since October 2020, we've done 1,600 international flights. And we have done 350 domestic flights out of here. American Airlines continue to do seven flights per week to JFK and seven flights per week to Miami, which means they have two flights, one to JFK and one to Miami. JetBlue will be joining that band of daily flights as of June, they're scheduled for June, will show seven flights. Currently, they're doing four a week. But as of June, they're scheduled, they'll be doing seven flights. Caribbean Airlines, they are picking back up, and we want to see them doing more. They do three flights weekly to JFK, one flight weekly to Canada, and then Suriname Airways. With some of the challenges that they've had, they're doing three flights um, weekly to Miami. They've been flying to Miami. Our agriculture, fisheries, other exporters have not been suffocated to the point of death. They have been downscale, but they haven't been suffocated to the point of death. We're still moving some cargo. Um, we, have pr 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 we have processed 2.9 million kilograms of cargo in for the year 2021, 2.9 million kilograms. That's good business. And we have done 400,000, uh, sorry, 5.4 million kilograms of cargo since October 2020. Um, Amerijet continues to come in with cargo, so people still get their barrels and their boxes. Businesses get their spare parts and uh, all the businesses get their service items that are required. They do two flights uh, weekly. The parking has been doing one flight per week, and Caribbean Airlines has been doing one flight per week where that cargo is concerned. So in all aspects of the airport, uh, we are picking back up. So I hope that when I come to the airport to welcome people home for Christmas, these figures would have boomerang and would have gone through the sky um, Guyana is going to be a safe place to visit. Um, it's going to be a safe place because we're going to achieve herd immunity. Um, tomorrow there will be a, another drive through vaccination um, activity at the stadium. Uh, we keep all of our clinics and hospitals open so people could go and get their vaccines. We are nearing 200,000 Guyanese soon with the first dose, and we're coming all the way up to 50,000 very soon with those who have taken their second dose. The Minister of Health have more accurate figures, but I'm giving ballpark figures. It's a work in progress, and we want to ensure that the, uh, the, our entire adult population, the Minister of Education has already announced that we're gonna be preparing to reopen schools in September, which means all 12,000 plus teachers must go out and get vaccinated, both doses between now and September, uh, the sweeper cleaners must go out and get vaccinated. The bus drivers who transport people to school must go out and get vaccinated. The taxi drivers from the airport who transport our tourists and our businesses coming in must go and get vaccinated. The country must be safe and we must achieve herd immunity and we must be able to keep business going. We don't want forever to be in a state. The vice president has just recently addressed the issue about lockdowns. We do have some issues. COVID-19 is real. People need to take the necessary precautions, but you can't allow COVID-19 and the fallout from COVID-19 to kill the economy. We can't allow it to kill people, and we can't allow it to kill the economy. So we have to manage, and we have to give the proper policy direction. This is independence, a good time to give thanks, and a good time to remember that we're all Guyanese, and a good time for us to come together, reach across the aisle, share some love with everybody, 
and let them know Guyana is ours, Guyana is we own. We're going to fight for Guyana, we're going to defend Guyana, but more than anything else, we're going to build Guyana, we're going to make it a prosperous country. Thank you.